poopies. The poopies. Oh, there's one behind you. We'll get Mr. Gray out of the way. Mr. Gray, go ahead and lean back. Oh, you got Mr. Blue on you. Mr. Blue, and then there's Bubby's doggy on you. And there's Sissy's doggy on you. You got... You got ten puppies all over you. You got Mr. Purple eating your foot. Oh yes. Oh, Mr. Blue is licking you. Oh. Is that a girl? Wait. All right, Roxy. We have to lock her out because she just wants to come in and eat their food. She doesn't even want to feed them anymore. So, bit. You're locked in with the puppies. You stay in the cage. <laughs> Look, it's, I have to feed them at the same time with two bowls now instead of one. They're just too big to gather around one bowl. So I have enough formula for two more milk feedings, but they're basically on hard food now for the most part. So I only give them one with a little bit of milk in the mornings and the rest hard food i'll probably do uh just get warm water and add it in the mornings without the milk because they don't need the formula anymore they're actually five and a half weeks now five and a half weeks old so we're keeping that one shandon's named it cricket me and Daddy wanted to name it Tuli because we love the name Tuli. But no, Bit wants Cricket. So, is that Cricket? Huh, Bit? Is her name Cricket? You remember old Bandit? Oh, Bandit! Oh, never mind. It's not Cricket. Wait, are we think we're thinking about it? Okay, so it's either Bandit or Cricket. So we have to think about it. But I'm. Cricket's growing on me now. I like the name Cricket now. <laughs> I like Tuli now. I like Cricket. Uh, I gotta pick up their poop so they don't step in it. They're about, uh, they're about all to go pooping now. So I go pick up what's there. Let's go pick it up. Where's the paper towels here? Pick up. See, they're so good. They're all potty trained. They, uh, there's only a couple that go on the cement, which drives me, or on this tile, drives me nuts. I don't know who it is. I can't figure it out yet. I haven't caught them in the act, but it just goes everywhere. Don't step over here, bit. They're just pee. So we got one that does not pee in the litter box, and it goes everywhere. <laughs> it makes me mop. It makes me mop. Every day I have to mop this floor because they're peeing on it. One is just making a mess and peeing on it. It's one. It's only one, thank yeah. goodness. And I just don't know. I haven't caught him. So once I catch her, or him, um, I'm, sorry, I'm cleaning the floor up. When I catch her or him in the act, all I have to do is pick him up. They're very smart. Let me just pick this poopy up here. The poops are more solid now after they've been warmed and stuff. They use a paper towel. See, if you don't pick it up, they just play in it and then get poop all over them. I pick up the poopies every time. Mr. Purple's taking a nice dump here. Mr. Purple. And oh, is you, we don't know your name yet. You used to be a Tuli, and now you're a cricket, and now you're a bandit. You so silly. You so silly. Yes. Sorry. I have a big load of poopies I'm picking up. And I'm wiping up the floor here with pee rags, and I'm gonna have to mop it. And I'm barefoot, so it means I'm gonna have to wash my feet right away. I don't know why I'm barefoot in here. Gross. Uh, you want their food and you want to see the babies. Huh. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, me and Bit are going to... Oh, I'm going to have to... Once I go lay down, I'm going to lock them in their kennel. Which they cried the first time I did it, but they haven't done it the second time. Took them an hour of yelping. No, 
that. More like 30 minutes of yelping, not all of them, just like a couple. They don't do it anymore, so. I got my. Let me get this floor cleaned up so you don't get your socks all yucky bit. Oh, you're gonna have to take the socks off. Because I warmed them just a couple days ago and they might be expelling worms. You don't want that in your socks. You know what I mean? So, take your socks off. It has, look at there's pee everywhere. Take your socks off. One of them is just peeing. Look at them. All right, mommy's got a. Oh, we got another poop going. Got another poop. They all get a good poop going on. I'm gonna wash my feet, boy. You gotta wash your feet now. You gotta wash. Ugh. Pee. Only two. I know it's two of you. Thank goodness, it's two spots. But then it gets smeared around like they're ice skating everywhere. Ice skating on pee. <laughs> I don't know which two is the culprit. Making a pee mess everywhere. <gasps> what? You could be doing that. All right, so they ate. I picked up all the. Look at. They're still pooping. <laughs> Anything one's done, you have to go pick up more poop. Yeah, there's. I, I can't figure out which two is making those potty spots. And then they run and they slide like ice skating rink and spread pee everywhere. And then I step in it. Oh, let's get pick this one up. But look at. For the most part, they're all potty trained. And that's good. To the pee pads. Then the owners will be. You know, if they want to, of course, potty train outdoors, it's up to the owners. Ah, I just stepped in pee again. I have to wash my feet. All right. Get your poopies. Anyways, they are getting ornery now that they're five, over five weeks old. They're getting running around, causing a muck. You know, you contemplate on keeping all of them because you just want to make sure they have a good life. But then... Reality hits around age five and a half weeks. I start being little rascals. And it'd be, imagine these full grown shepherds out of control just playing. And it's hard enough to train two at once. I don't think I can do more than two. So we're just going to do two. Even though my heart wants to say three or four, but I can't. Just because if you take on more than. Oops, it, you take on more than you can handle, you end up, have, you know, me, for me, I will keep them no matter what, because I always have, and that's just what I do. You adopt a dog, that's your dog, but some other people, you take on more than you can handle, and you end up putting them in the pound, and that's not nice to them. All right, yeah, so we're only keeping two, because you just don't want to buy off more than you can chew. You want a bunch of rascals everywhere. And now I make sure to find good homes, huh? Aww. So normally we have five dogs, usually at all times on this property, but our elders just pa passed away a year ago, the last of them. So we're, you know, restarting back up, but I don't want five. Four's fine. Mommy. So. All right, well, we're going to get going. We'll do weeks. We're going to do shots next. Roxy. Roxy, come on. Come on. All righty, so I'm going to vaccinate these puppies. We have... Uh, Roxy, Roxy, get outside. She thinks I'm going to go do chores. Because <laughs> I'm walking that way. Get out there. Come on. All right. So me and my husband are going to vaccinate these puppies here. And we have the them in the refrigerator. Let's get it out of the fridge. Alrighty, so let's open this up and see what we got. Let's see what we got here. We got it from Jeffers Pet Livestock. Jeffers.com Let's see. They make you buy the bag, the ice chest here. And the ice that to go with it for shipping. 
So this is what we got. This is a popular brand. All feed stores sell this separately for about 12 bucks. Canine distemper, antivirus type 2, parafluvenza, uh, parona, parvovirus vaccine. Um, canine spectrum 5, so 5 and 1. So that's what we're going to do. Um, 22 gauge. So 22 gauge, that's a small gauge. So... We need 10 needles. One, two, three, four, five. Two of these. 10. I have enough shots here for the first and second. I should be able to give them before I uh, adopt them out. So I'm going to keep the puppies for that duration enough to give them two shots and then they will be rehomed. Alright, so let's, Daddy. Let's set the camera up right here. What do you want to do? Alright, so it comes with a wet ingredient and a dry ingredient, and you need to mix them both. So, Daddy's getting the puppy ready. Let's see if I am I focused to focus. Here, let's go back. Alright, Daddy's getting the puppy ready. Alright, so I got a list to write down. Who I vaccinate. Um, no, you want to hand me a disposable area for the shots while I prepare the shots. What? i got to prep the shots here because I have to extract liquid. Let me just get enough. So I have to extract the liquid and, to, and insert it into the dry and then shake it. And then it'll be prepped. Hey, so. hey, it's enough. Do you have a trash can for me? I'll get it. I'm right here. I'm in your way. Okay, so make sure your hands are nice and clean. We've got the needle. Alrighty, so you're going to get your needle and your two ingredients. One's liquid and one's dry. So you're going to extract the liquid from one and insert it to the dry. Alright. Now that one's all gone. And then you're gonna put it in the dry and push it in the dry. And you're gonna shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then we get the, the needle ready. Push the air out. Mr. Green. Make sure you don't have no air. Okay. Now it's ready for a puppy. So get puppy. Get Mr. Green here. Daddy, you have to hold him. So you're gonna get the skin. You don't want to put it in muscle. You want to put it just under skin. So. All done. And then just rub it. And that's it. Rub, 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 rub. And then get the next one. I'm going to write Mr. Green down. Dispose of your needle in a hazardous waste. We'll put that in hazardous waste. Okay, next. Let me prep the needle. Oh, we got green, check mark green. Oh, no, this is, oh, there's not. Mr. Pink next. Make sure your needle's tight. Dog. It's dog. I know, he picked the perfect dog. All right, get the liquid. Suck the liquid out. Now this won't give them an illness. This is, it won't give them the disease. It's just, um, it'll help them get their immunities to it.
So what you do is make sure you lift their flap of their skin up and you're putting it in the skin in between the shoulder blades in a pocket. And just make sure. Okay. Now we're ready for Mr. Pink. Make sure you don't enter into meat. You're entering into the empty space in between. It's hard because they're black, but in between the skin and the meat. Okay? So we'll make sure he doesn't move on me. Rub it, rub it, rub it. It's a babies. It's a babies. There we go. That one, Mr. Pink's done. I gotta wash my hands. I wore gloves. Hmm? Okay, we did Mr. Pink. Mark Mr. Pink off. Time for Mr. Blue's Sari's puppies. Make sure your needles on good. Aww. you a different angle this time. Mr. Blue here. All right, put lift the skin up in between that skin pop. Oh, Mr. Blue, I like that one. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. Oh, you gotta hold him since he had a little whiny experience. Oh. Okay, let's blue okay next is oh. no I have a little writing on one if you want you can write on it if you can't tell the difference, I'm saying you can. I can.
poopies. Mr. Blue. No. It's light blue. Light blue. Mr. Light Blue. Mr. Light Blue. Mr. Light Blue. Yes, Mr. It's Aqua. We have it on here, it's Aqua. Mr. Aqua. I'm thinking about keeping Mr. Aqua. Too. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, last five. Yeah, you are colorblind. You're bringing me Mr. Gray. You're bringing me Mr. Gray. Or light blue. We already did light blue. We just did light blue. Oh, this one's aqua. Okay. We just did light blue. I know, so I mixed them up. I put aqua. It's the same thing. These things are dumb. <laughs> I know, that's why I took... I don't even have a different I took, color. I know, I took series off because I couldn't tell it. It's having to take those other ones back. Those are all good colors. No, it's the same but colors. The yellow. I have other colors, but I want the ones to look the same on the ones I, I don't want. You know what I mean? No, no. Gosh. Especially if you're using it like Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I can tell. I don't know why you can't tell. You are colorblind. No, they're not. They're just dirty. <laughs> you're saying dirt. Right. Who are you? Are you red? <laughs> oh, what right. is that? This is like um, aqua. <laughs> the other one was light blue. Please turn your head. Don't turn your head. Come on. I know. I know. Oh, this is the one I was thinking about keeping. Oh, come on. Get over there, Daddy. All right. Do you not like me no more? He doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> okay, now we marked off orange. <laughs> now we're not messing around. All right, so we got four more to go, Daddy O. Okay, we're almost done. A bit. We're giving the puppies shots. Because you know, I was a doctor and a veterinarian in another life. I was a, in my last life, I was a voodoo. Now, what was it called? Like in the olden days? A witch? I was like, I guess it could have been considered a witch. I got some bubbles in this one. Okay. Alright. Cool, that one. Are you Mr. Gray? You Gray? Are you serious? Right? Yes, this is Mr. Gray. I just loosened his collar. It was tight, so now it's nice. This is Mr. Gray. Why didn't you mark them better? What are you talking about? This is Mr. Gray. I have a star on him. Let's see. Mr. Gray has a star on his collar.
sleep in. Okay. This is a bear. Oh, this is mommy's bear. Mommy's bear. This is a bear. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Yes. I wish they'd stay this small. <laughs> the little toy shepherds. They'd be so perfect. That'd be cool, huh? A little toy shepherd. <laughs> I think those little toy Dober Dobermans. Do they have small toy shepherds? If we can I don't get think one. so. Let's get a toy shepherd. No. You breed them with like a big, big shepherd. I like my big dogs. <laughs> like Alright, that's like it. Dogs. Now safely go dispose of this in a hazardous waste. Alright. So that's how you vaccinate the little poopies. You want to say peace by a bit? <laughs> He's a peace by. He's still thinking on a name. <laughs> All right, peace. Uh.